When we talk about infrastructure, everything that is above ground is largely known and well described. What is uncertain is the world below. It's designed by nature. We cannot see it. But imagine if you could see what lies beneath. You could de-risk project delivery. You could also greatly increase the resilience and sustainability of the infrastructure. That's where Sequent, the Bentley subsurface company, comes in. My colleague Graham Grant is joining us today to tell us more. Always good to talk to you about Sequent, Graham. Can you tell us why a deep understanding of the subsurface is critical for the design, construction, and operations of infrastructure? Well, thanks, Nicholas. Look, the subsurface can have a huge impact on infrastructure projects because there are so many unknowns. Like, for example, in construction, you come across shallow groundwater that you didn't expect. Or maybe you've designed foundations to be bedded on rock you make the excavation and the rock is way deeper than you expected or it's not there at all. That'll cost time, it will incur cost and sometimes conflict and contention between contracting parties. And often it traces back to the false economy of insufficient ground investigation, which causes these problems. So if you have a better understanding, that creates a shared understanding that transforms how work is done. So that gives you better projects, and it gives you reduced contention. So all of that results in less impact on the earth, and that's what we're striving for. One of the most acclaimed projects at the Going Digital Awards last year was Mark McDonald's work on the high-speed railway line between the northwest and the southeast of the UK. It is a massive civil engineering undertaking. But what makes this project unique when it comes to a better understanding of the subsurface? In these kind of projects, you're moving vast amounts of material. They call it mass material movement. So in this case, that section, they plan to move around 25 million me cubic meters of material. And their goal was to reuse as much of that material as they could on site. Now, why do they want to reuse it? Well, that saves transporting material off the site. It saves bringing other construction material fill back. And it reduces water consumption now, all of that, if they could achieve it, means they reduce fuel consumption, less noise, less dust, less movement, and importantly, less emissions. So using Sequent and Bentley Digital Twin data environments and capability, they were able to build an integrated system that allowed them to understand and collaborate and communicate around a single source of truth, which is quite an advanced way of thinking. And the outcomes of all of that were staggering. The project team, from their perspective, they gained consistency, reliability, better communication. For the environment and for the country itself, the project outcomes were incredible. 400,000 tonnes of carbon uh, no longer emitted. They saved the use of quarter of a billion litres of water and thousands of hours of earthworks time. So this is a staggering example of what can be achieved if you use a modern data environment and a modern data approach to transform infrastructure. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you, Graham.